And it's time for Kitchen Class with Chef Brian. Today we're going to learn something to level up our kitchen skills. Yeah, Mary is in the kitchen now with Chef Brian. And what do we have going on in there today? Oh, can, can she Pectin. be taught? Pectin is our friend. Okay. And it's fascinating. What the heck? So I don't pectin, think I've ever used pectin. Really? Yeah. Well, I hope you will after okay. this. So pectin, you've all, if you've ever made jam, this is what it looks like. It comes in various forms in the grocery store. Pectin is a naturally occurring molecule in the cell walls of many fruit. And what it does is produce this jelly-like consistency of jam or jelly. Thickens it up, okay. So it thickens it up, but how does it thicken it up? And that's the important part. You know, you can watch all these little social media things, mm -hmm. and I really get tired of them, Mary, because okay. they're all about, how do I film this? How, what angle should I take? How should I do this? Just you know, do they it. talk about, know. yes, they don't talk <laughs> about the science behind it. Okay. So, jam, pectin, fruit, which I okay. have over here. Okay, you just here, use the strawberries and I from... I use frozen strawberries. And they look really good. It. Yeah. Oh, so, pectin, fruit, an acid, lemon juice, mm -hmm. lime juice, and sugar. That's all jam is. Hmm. And I don't know why when you go to the store and you look in the back of a jam thing, it's like brrr, I mean, a whole bottle filled with other things. But that's all it is. So you add the fruit, you add the sugar, you add the acid to it, and then you add the pectin. And do you, you have to get it to it. a certain temperature or what? You do. Okay. Now the pectin reacts with the sugar, the acid, and temperature. When it hits a certain temperature, those molecules will kind of unfold very much like starch. Okay. Starch thickens by grabbing water molecules and holding them in, like, thus thickening a sauce. Like for gravy. Kind of, yeah. yeah. Okay. But pectin, what it does, mm. reacts with sugar, acid, and heat. And when it hits a certain temperature, it grabs onto those water molecules and thickens your jam. And that's what happens. So when you don't have a jam that thickens up, first of all, am I using a fruit that has pectin in it? That's a choice. Apples are very high in pectin, mm. so a lot of people will add shredded apples to things so that they use the pectin if they don't use a commercial one. So you probably don't need as much if you're doing apples, you right? You okay. don't. But the nice thing about it is with pectin, you can do any kind of jams. Now let me, ex let me show you. Okay. I have jelly jam, so jellies. Okay. You can also do... And that's just drain strained, right? To make it... Well, the jelly? It's, it's a jam. Yeah. I mean, follow your recipe for the jelly okay. jams. Okay. Another one which you should be familiar with because these came from is the that my tree. peaches? This is a peach jam. Okay. And so you can do a peach jam in there. That's what I have to do. I still and have some. you can some. also do cherry jams. And cherry. so when I went down to uh, south to the Red Barn, down south, Santa Quin area. Okay. I, think. Um, I bought pie cherries and I made jams okay. out of it. So I've made berry jam, but like refrigerator, so I didn't need to use the pectin, right? Nope, you do not. Okay. So this is a, a process. I grew up canning things. Okay. I mean, my parents did, my mm -hmm. grandmother did, so I can my jams and do it. This is a type of canning jam. You can put it into a jar. It processes at my elevation of 4,500 feet for 15 minutes in a boiling water bath. But check your elevation okay. to be safe. So pectin is an additive which combines with an acid like lemon juice, mm -hmm. sugar, and heat. Here's your thermometer for the heat. And it jellifies, so to speak, <laughs> the fruit and gives you a jam consistency. Okay. That's how it works. Awesome. Grabs those water molecules and holds them in and gel. That's awesome. So are you going to make strawberry jam for, at noon. for Ron? Oh, you're at doing it noon. at noon. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to make strawberry. I'm going to show you how to actually make the strawberry jam at noon. You can serve it with ice cream, you can serve it with toast, you can hmm. just eat it if you and want if you to have for that those matter. those fruit, like uh, frozen well, peaches it, in my... It's true, and if you don't have the fruit, don't panic. Go to the frozen food, buy them frozen. Yeah. They and look that's beautiful exactly yeah. what I've done here. Right. You can do peaches, you can do the tropical blend if you right. want to. Oh, yeah. You can do strawberries, berries. blueberries, yeah. blackberries. Costco has an abundance that's right. <laughs> of frozen fruit. Now, in where there. can people find this instruction? You have your website. We put your recipes well, from the noon show on our website. I have this recipe for the strawberry okay. jam is on my website, okay. Cooking with Chef Brian. 
But the best thing to do if you want, want to learn how to can is go download the Blue Big Book Ball Canning Book. Oh, the Ball Canning Book. That okay. is the best resource you can get. You can get it downloaded as an ebook and use it for all of your preservation mm. ideas. So learn how to can, learn how to preserve. Mm. When you have an abundance of peaches, right. make jam you, or put yeah. them in bottles. USU Extension Office is also really helpful. Very helpful, yeah. any of the extension offices. Sure. So cool. I have used them frequently actually hey, well, with questions. <laughs> they're, they're a great resource. That's what they're for. Yeah, right. So it's a wonderful <laughs> resource. So I hope you all have fun with Jamming it up this we week. We have toast and jam in here at the kitchen for you guys. Oh, we do. And butter, of course. It's